Hey, what's going on, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to another video. So, it was a week ago that I started to cover every single Battlefield 2042 map and give you the tips and tricks, the secrets I know in every single map. And today is the day we go for Redacted. This is actually one of the maps that they tried to make based on Locker and Metro. So, in my opinion, it's really one of the best maps that 2042 has ever got. So, it's worth actually being the second map that we go through, right? And Redacted has only four objectives might seem simple but there's a lot of complexity to the objectives just like a map like locker you guys probably remember that those objectives were not so easy to master so a site is one of them if we want to start with a and this is by the way our base uh there are plenty of things you can do here but there's also a lot of things you can do for attacking if you're basically an attacker one of the things that you guys want to do basically when things get uh messy around here this part of the map is so crowded. There's like frags and grenades and all kind of stuff coming through this door. What you're going to do is if you want to attack this site and this is enemy space, what I really do is doing this. You're going to be getting into the red zone really like this. You're going to break this, fall down and boom, you're on the flank. Okay, this is something that a lot of people don't do. Like 90% of the players are simply stuck here throwing grenades like like this just throwing grenades reviving people around here and that's it so you don't want to be that player you want to be the player who actually makes way for their team to be able to get in and capture the site and this is not only about your team you're going to be into a flanking position you're going to get at least three four kills before they even notice you're here so uh that's uh, one good way to do it all right for defense a lot of people don't know this but if the enemy team's pushing through here like this doorway right like this and you're trying to defend this is one good place you can go. Like, they don't really expect you being here. And guys, this is actually a cool place as well. Uh, imagine that this is enemy's base. You're gonna get here. Look. Anyone coming up here to, like, shoot view from up there, you're gonna easily just cut them down. And you can have access to almost everything. Just like this. You, you even have cover. Like, this is cover for you. Nothing, no one can hit you from here. Basically, nobody. So, this is also a great place to be. Also, if I were you, I would just consider this site as a big maze. Because it really is. Because of these, like, things. Whatever these things are. You can easily just cut people down here. Even, if, especially if people are following you. You can simply just get rid of them. Just around here. If you didn't want to just get up from here. Or you think you're in, like, in any kind of danger. You can get up from here as well that's another way to get there and this is it a site is probably one of the easiest sites like in terms of complexity it's not that complex now about b site there's a lot of verticality in this site and there's a lot of things you should actually know about when trying to play here first of all there are two main entries to this site one of them being here this comes directly from c1 this entry is actually a place for people who just don't want to do anything like they're basically doing nothing they're just throwing grenades and stuff but this entry is another good one you always have to be ready for flanks from this one and the one back there and these two go directly to c right if in a situation like this where you have be you have to be prepared to be attacked and flanked basically from both directions this place in my opinion, is one of the worst places that you can be. A lot, and a lot of people fall into this trap because if it feels safe, you know, but it really isn't. Like honestly, it really isn't. Being here, like in a, in a rat hole like that, I don't think that's a good place to be. But there are places that you can actually play if you want to ever contest a site and be partially visible or almost invisible. Under here is one of the places you're being seen from a lot of directions, but a lot of people don't really expect you to be down there. If you're a McKay player and uh, you just want to get kills, you're not really worried about contesting the site. Up there is a very good place for you, and not a lot of people can actually come and defend here. But when the dude is up there it's gonna get so hard as you can see these bots are now literally flanking me from the same entry that i told you about also this is a very good place to contest this site without being in a big danger from almost anywhere uh you're basically head glitched you, you can see this flank this is one of the main entries you can see here anyone comes up from here your head glitched anyone coming from here your head glitched anyone trying to push you from here again you're in in a very safe place only problem here is someone coming from there uh which there's always a risk to a degree so you have to 
be able to take some risks. Also, a lot of people play here. This part of the map is a great high advantage, but the only problem with it is you don't have any control over the site. Actually, you can't contest the site. Not not control. You can't contest it, okay? And not being able to contest it means you don't really have a lot of control over it. So I suggest that you stay in the site, especially like a place like this one. Like, like don't don't go here, please. This is not cool. If you want to play, like be here. At least be a bit unpredictable, as they say. Playing here is just better. This is a common place for a lot of players. They basically pre-fire here most of the time. So I would be here. Be able to Stay out of sight just a bit. Again, this is another tip. Uh, if you guys ever want to push C, like you have B now and you want to push C, try to not go from here, please. This is the main route to the site, right? This is the main one. You're going to die here, okay? There's a lot of people camping for you here, and it's not really cool. What you're going to do instead, you're simply going to push through here. It's simple. You're going to push here. Uh, there's a lot less traffic, and you just start pushing forward. One of the main advantages for this flank, especially, is the fact that you can actually move straight to D. Like, you can flank the enemy team and get their base objective and make them retreat so your team can actually hold C site. That's something that you can always do. Being creative, it's just like Locker and Metro, really. Being creative pays off, and it plays a big role here. C is another very complicated place. What's interesting is, you, you see that up here, up here, right? I can't contest the site like this. Like, look, I just can't contest the site. Now I can, just with a small retreat. So, you see, it's it's a bit glitchy, you know, but it's a very good place. Like, you see, you've got uh, one of the main routes to the site covered. You're literally head glitched. Anyone up there, you can see. And no one can literally flank you. Like, you're like an eagle <laughs> up, up in the nest. And you can jump around just like this, you see? Doing stuff like this. This is not actually something you need to do, like, but but you, this is something possible. Like, you, you can actually do those kind of stuff. And this is one of the places that not a lot of people know about, but you should be one of the people that know about this, okay? This. You can easily come up here and have a the very ridiculous spot you can actually place some like radio beacons around here this is not something that a lot of people know really i don't really see a lot of people playing here because they just don't know of it also there's another place you can be and it's here it's actually pretty simple to climb you just need some consistency with that space button and here it is you come up here and you see look how many people i have here and they can't even shoot me this place is especially good when you are trying to attack from the early stages. Like, uh, you're basically coming into the side and you want to clear it out a bit. This is one of the cool places that you can be. So even back here, we have some cool places to be. Basically anywhere up here, like a radio beacon here, and your whole squad is going to be here. And they also have a higher ground as well, which makes it hard for the enemy team to even lay hands on you. It's not like a secret, but it's more like a tip. Because you see a lot of people just playing down here. If your team is contesting the site and they need cover, like getting that high ground is key, to be honest. Also, a lot of people make the mistake of like hiding here to contest the site. That's not something cool. Honestly, this is the best place you can be. You can't contest the site. Like it's it's the same glitch. There's like a, a height limit contest thing for this site for some reason. I don't know why, but it is what it is. But this is the best place. They don't expect you to be here and you have like more visuals you can actually hold a lot of more places with the small high advantage that you have so i always uh suggest you that be up here instead of being down there and predictable generally speaking in almost any shooting game being unpredictable is one of the main things that separate you from the average joe try to be as much unpredictable as possible let's try to be like that and things will be fine for you so this is the main entry for d and what i told you about b site is exactly the same for this one you see smoke people shooting incendiaries frag grenades this is what happens here okay you don't want to get in trouble becoming a part of this mess what you're going to do is you know you actually have two ways one of the ways which is in my opinion faster is like flanking here look at this flank so easy. Look. Look how many people I can kill like this. And this is one of the flanks that actually opens up a space for your team and lets them push. Like you see, these guys are butts. They're not even real players, but they know how things work, right? And they're actually starting to push because I've killed whoever was shooting them. The other flank is through this tunnel. It takes a lot more time, but it's probably safer most of the times. You come around here and just start to push straight into the site. Discipline is the exact one that came from C, if you guys remember. Straight from C to D. 
that is the place you're gonna end up here and once you get here there's actually another good place you can go to attack these people you see a lot of smoke here like people throwing grenades and all that kind of stuff you don't want to be a part of that if you want to be a part of attacking this side from a high advantage this is the place this is how you're going to get in okay and you and the enemy team is going to be spawning from here but you're going to check it every now and then to see if they're coming or not. And you have a high advantage here. You see everything in the site, right? That is very important. Now about the site itself. Um, it's not really that complex, the site. So you don't want to get confused here. The only problem with this site, I believe, is not being able to contest the site from here. Like this small part of the site from there to here. It's not, you're not going to be able to contest the site, which is ridiculous in my opinion. But it is what it is. Okay, if, if you want some place safe to defend and be unpredictable this is one of the places that you can be like it is dangerous but you see not even those bots expect me to be here it's ridiculous another one is here this is actually safer you have all eyes here nobody can come here without you killing them first this is a very ridiculous place to be you anyone coming from here you can cut them off easily and you're safe no one can come from here and see you so there's another one. Uh, you're actually safe here as well. No one can see you from there. And this is really unexpected, to say the least. Another good place that you can be is, like, up here. Right here. You, you don't need to even push further. Being here and on its own is, like, enough. This is another thing you can do. You probably didn't know this, but, uh, yeah, this is one of the parkour things that you can also do in this site. Especially if you have time for this. Like, you st jump straight to this. Like, come, come up here and jump straight to this wall. And you're up here. Simple as that. And you can't contest the site, but you can do whatever else you want. Myself, I've never seen anyone being up here. Never. It's it's impossible for you to see something like this. And look how many places you can actually cover. You can cover th this whole place. Look at this. Everything is under control. You can actually see who's coming here. Um, even a bit around here you can cover simply it's a it's a very important aspect of this game being unexpected now these were the things that i knew about the whole site but uh, there are so many things about this map that can actually uh give you a head start before even like getting into a gunfight or anything first of all you gotta know that this is an infantry only map and that means you only come across people with guns okay no vehicles Nothing like that. So playing with weapons that have a lot of rounds per mag is really good in a map like this. It really pays off. Like the PP-29 is going to be a monster weapon in this map because you don't really need to reload all the time. You can even go for LMGs. Like I've seen people doing that and it might be a bit slower. The ADS time is a bit slower, but having 200 rounds per mag is just crazy in a map like this. Another very important thing that you guys have to always uh, keep in your mind. You see, the, these sites are all in a straight line, almost, okay? This straight line that comes all the way from back there to here makes a main entry to these sites, okay? You don't want to come around here and try to push from these main entries. What you're going to do is always try to flank. Like, there are places that you can go that actually bypass all the mess in that main entry, okay? And it's basically very simple. You have right side flank and left side flank, and that's it. You choose one and you start pushing from there. This is one, like this is this is one of those flanks. If you're gonna go to A, for example, the left flank is gonna be here. Simple as that. This is the left flank. You don't need to push straight into the mess, okay? Simply from here, and you're gonna be in flanking position. So that was everything I knew about Redacted. If you guys have any other tips or like know some other secret places, do make sure to leave them in the comment section, you know, helping each other and all that stuff. So yeah, do make sure to start a communication down there in the comment section. And do let me know what's the next map you want to see because uh, I'm going to take a look at what you guys want to prioritize and act accordingly. Hope you enjoyed the video and hope this was helpful. Do make sure to apply these tricks in your own gameplay and let me know the result because it's all about positioning. In any shooting game, you guys probably know this maybe even better than me. In shooting games, positioning is key. Sometimes it's more important than your aiming skills. So what we are going to focus on in these series of videos is places that you can be that are unexpected and uh, the enemy team just don't know where you are or where you might be. Those are the places that you should play it. So thanks for watching and until next time guys, stay cool.